Well, a bridge just south of Four Corners has been a popular fishing spot, and a lot more than that, for more than 100 years. But with that age comes some wear and tear. MTN's Gabby Krevit explains why and what Gallatin County Commissioners hope to do about it. Axel is actually where I learned to fish mostly. I fish with my dad a lot, and it's definitely one of the great places around here to go fishing. Axtell Bridge has seen its fair share of traffic, and it's more than a century years old. Between fishermen and outdoor lovers, the old bridge holds a special place in the community's heart. We're a growing county, and these one-lane bridges are just not going to um, be enough you know, to handle the traffic in years to come. Commissioner Joe Skinner stresses that there's no potential of the bridge collapsing. From its winding road to its single lane, Skinner says there are definite safety concerns, something the board wants to fix. Now, there are three options on the table right now, ranging from keeping and fixing the existing one-lane bridge to totally demolishing it and replacing it with a two-lane bridge. Costs are expected to be between one and $2.15 million. Option one, the most expensive option, would mean the construction of a new two-lane bridge, as well as road work to help account for the increased traffic. The old bridge could be moved to a new location. Option two, create a two-lane bridge, but there would be no additional construction to the Axtell Road, which runs right through it. The final and cheapest option would be to fix the old bridge, keeping it a one-way while preserving its history. Skinner and fishermen, like Courtney Tinsman, agree. The first option is ideal. I think it would make, I don't know, a huge difference, especially at that access, because it would, you know, make room for more people to kind of enjoy that access. The commission hopes to continue looking into this with the public in September. In Bozeman, Gabby Krevit, MTN News. The money to repair the bridge would be expected to come from the Montana Department of Transportation.